Sami from e-learning channel museum. How was last week's songs? Which pattern do you like better? Was it block the chord or broken chord or words? Definitely block the chord, right? I have seen it and many people said block the chord. And some people said words is okay. If you are not comfortable with the song yet, then keep working on it and add today's song. That's fine. Maybe you may have to practice a little longer, right? Since you have more song. Today, we're going to learn skip to my loop. You can guess from the titles, right? Skip. There's a lot of skip. Skip means literally you just play chords, repeated chord. In this music, we're going to learn eighth note. We have already learned in previous lesson, but more details on eighth note and combinations of dotted quarter note and eighth note. Let's see what is it, the eighth note. First, let's check new rhythms, which is eighth note. Of course, we have learned it before. Eighth note is half count. Do you remember? In the stems, there is a tails on it. One tail is eighth note we call it. And if it's a two tails, then that's a sixteenth note. And two eighth note is same as one quarter note. So, if quarter is one count, one, two, three, four, the eighth note is twice faster than the quarter note. So it goes one, one, two, two, three, eight, four, four. So do you see it? One, two, instead of one, 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 each two. So two eighth note is the same as one quarter note. Now let's see rhythm one. Here you have two quarter note and followed by eighth note. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's how it goes. Now, if we add left hand chord, C chord, and play a right hand on C, it will be sound like this. One, two, three. Three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See it? So you can practice it on any note. It can be on G chord or on F chord. Just pick any notes and practice the rhythm. Now, let's move it on to the rhythm too. If you're looking at it, it's close. But the difference is quarter. Eighth quarter ace. So the combinations comes right after. So the right hand rhythm, if we play it on E this time, let's see how it goes. One, two, three, go. One, two, four, three, four, four, one, one, two, three, eight, four. That's how rhythm goes. So whenever you see this rhythm, it goes one, two, instead of one, two. Got it? Now let's play it on E with left hand chord on C. So right hand I will change to E notes and left hand will still play it C chord. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, four. One, one, two, three, four. So number one and two is pretty similar but a little bit different. Now, the problem is number three and four. Most often used in the music, but it's really confusing. Dotted quarter note. How many count is that? We have learned dotted half note, right? Dotted half note is three. But dotted quarter note, how many count there will be? The little dot is half value of the note that it is attached to. So, if it's a quarter note, then half value, which is eighth note. So it means quarter note plus eighth note, one and a half count. And then you have another eighth note. So this rhythm, most often we said one and two and, one and two and. If we divide by one and two and as a half beat, the rhythm goes one and two and. Long, short, long, short. Remember that way. 
that's that might help you. That is quarter note followed by eighth note is long short long short or one and two and one and two and got it. Now let's try number three only right hand. I will play in an E. One, two, three, go. One and two and how you can play it. Now let's play both hands together and let's see how it goes. Left hand still on the C chord and pick right hand any note. C, E, G. You can pick any note. I will pick G since we haven't played G yet. But you can play. Pick any note. Let's go. One, two, three, go. One, two, to the number four. This time is just switched number three rhythm. So eighth note comes first and then dotted quarter note comes later. So it's going to be short long, short long. Kata, kata, this rhythm. Kata, kata. It used often in jazz music and swing music too. Now this one is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's try on the piano i will pick on e one two three four together. Left hand on C, right hand still on E. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Got it? So these rhythm patterns will be often used in songs. So next time when you see it, think about the rhythm, how we did, and then apply it to the music. 